Keeping uh, one, the SCPs from getting out of that room. Two, keeping them from getting in this room. Now, uh, that does not mean we are out of the woods. The site is on complete lockdown. No one can get out and no one can get in. That means the Foundation is not coming to help us. So, until we get those SCPs back in their containment cells, none of us can leave. What are they doing? I, I couldn't see. You were in the way. Uh, that would be impossible. Uh, and that would be a suicide. Wesley, why did you let them in? I don't know. Um, I told you to stay in the lane. Why did you let them in? I was staying in the lane. Lay next to the door. Please, please be safe. I am totally safe. Sorry. I don't have a secure Sorry. Um, yeah. No, it's totally I would definitely be helpful. Totally. I, although I'm uh, confident in our in our locks. Uh, no, yeah, the doors are completely secure and nobody is in the hallway. And I love you, sir. Wesley, just stay near me. <laughs> Glad to see uh, morale is up, I guess. What if there were ways to travel between the walls? Um, just phase through them. <laughs> Almost like a ghost. You're hearing rumors of a ghost. Please don't touch my desk. I would, I would very much. Well, like that is definitely people. concerning. Uh, any anomalous entity that we are not aware of is definitely. Uh, the comedy mask is able to communicate with people psychically, but uh, all it does is try and get you to kill yourself. So that's not very helpful. Containment breach would be a very elaborate way to get one to kill oneself. Uh, well, we're not exactly sure what caused this containment breach yet, unless any of you have any insight. Uh, 049 and uh, Baba Yaga are some of the more dangerous SCPs that we should be worried about. I'm actually concerned for Mrs. Mr. Fish's safety myself at this moment. Let's see. Blaine is in charge of coming up with a plan right now to secure the other room. Research will aid uh, by providing any helpful knowledge about the SCPs. To be honest, we are sort of the least helpful team right now. Our job is to make sure that there are no loose ends, make sure that Blaine's plan will execute 100% perfectly. So, if any of you have any insight about what might have happened in that room, that would definitely be the time to speak up. I got no clue, but it sounds like we gotta stop this thing admin and go home. Because if we just sit around here going, I'm admin, we're not gonna do anything. And Exactly. Yes. I don't want uh, Mr. Fish to die. I like him. I do as well. Close the door open. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you all are standing in the way. I can't see what's going on. It looks close. Two people just walk in. Two people just walk in. Admin. Uh, well, if people were able to survive that, that is promising. We should go make sure that security is doing their job. Uh, yes, if you would like to split yourselves up I'm and, and the help door out, with a chair. some with research, <laughs> some with security. Uh. And team. <laughs> the remaining in there. Yes. <laughs> well, critical hazard assessment team, why don't we follow our leads? Somebody's nice in a crisis like this. Oh, 
Hello. Sorry for the wait. I'm so sorry. This is the day in which you came here, but the luck of a the luck of a foundation employee. Am I right? How can I help? The critical hazard assessment team has questions okay. regarding That's some uh, photography that may or may not have taken place during the breach. Photography in the administration office. So, you're familiar with the way the bureaucracy here works, right? Of course. There is the site head who is technically the authority on site, except in the case of the breach, in which case it's head of security blame. But that is not always the case. In actuality, that is just the official status. The company line. Right. Technically, the higher authorities above the site head are, um, depending on the situation, the overseer council, and then, of course, the ethics committee. It is their job to monitor for infractions of procedure and ethics violations on site to ensure that any individual isn't putting the site and, of course, the world in greater danger. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Were any such infractions discovered? Well, if someone were to take pictures in the site head's office, they would perhaps discover that the site head was hoarding mask juice secretions from the comedy mask in his drawer which is not only wildly inappropriate in a breach of procedure, but also perhaps contributed to the containment breach. So, that is, of course, concerning. That is a highly dangerous liquid to be holding on to for outside of research purposes. Yes, and unauthorized. Um, and unfortunately, it's come to my attention that on the other side of our security barriers, um, the administrative intern, Chris. Have you met Chris? We saw Chris's display earlier. Yes, the um, uh, sort of flash mob-esque confession of love for Danny Taylor. Um, indeed, indeed. Well, Chris is now um, deceased and is being puppeted by the comedy mask. 343 three rest. So... Um, whether or not the site was involved in this happening is unclear, but what is clear is that the site head is a threat to the safety of the site. What do you know about 049's relationship with the site head? I have suspicions. The site head seems very invested in 049. And I don't know exactly why, but what I do know is that the site head's history and background are behind a level 5 clearance wall. Hmm. Now, I don't, um, I'm not saying this in official capacity, but there's potentially somebody on site who has level 5 clearance. Potentially. Potentially. If there were someone like that on site, they would tell you that perhaps Dr. Eckelberg knows more about the site head's history. Dr. Eckelberg. Have you met Lillian Eckelberg? We have not been acquainted thus far. <laughs> yes, well that's because officially she's missing in action. About four years ago she vanished from the site, but in reality she faked her own death so she wouldn't have to do any more paperwork. Um, since then she's been living in the walls and under furniture and whatnot, but she used to be head researcher here. Um, I think she's lurking somewhere dark and uh, mysterious. Um, but she had an adversarial relationship with the site head to my knowledge. This is all good information. I'm glad I'm able to enlighten you. I'm wondering if you have anything interesting and good information to know in exchange. Hmm. Critical hazard assessment team. Do you have anything interesting Sybil might be interested in? Perhaps that uh, she was seen under a table in the containment cell just before the breach. Interesting.
Unfortunately, we did not approach her during that time, and so myself and the chat are both in the dark about this Eckelberg character. I would love if you could uncover something, and I have something that might help you do that. Yes, of course. Uh, so I'm not going to hand this to you directly because it's an anomalous object. This is um, a small token of gratitude. If you hand it to someone and then they take it into their possession, then they will be compelled to answer the next question you ask, you ask them objectively as truthfully as they can. So. I trust you to use that in whatever way you see fit in your investigation of the site. And I'd love to hear what you uncover. Indeed, indeed. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.